Treat others the way you want to be treated. Sometimes it's called the golden rule. We put others first because it's exactly what Jesus did. I'm Josh. And I'm Seth. And this is Kids Church Online. Welcome again to Kids Church Online. All month long, we've been talking about how Jesus came and turned everything upside down. And he did it with humility. I can feel the blood rushing to my head. <laughs> humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Every day, we have chances to show humility to people all around us. Maybe it's letting you, someone go ahead of you in line or letting someone else decide what position they want to play. Really, it just means that you think of others more than you think of yourself. Does that sound easy? I mean, it sounds easy, but to be honest, it's not always. But it helps when we remember how Jesus showed humility for us. Humility is so unusual that sometimes it just seems, well, upside down, like walking on your hands or painting with your feet. I, <laughs> what? Actually, that sounds a lot like fun, doesn't it? I mean, let's try it. It's time to paint your masterpiece. <laughs> now let's get one thing straight. Paint brushes are for chumps. In this game, we're gonna be painting with our feet. Great idea, Si. Not so. <laughs> I'll be using the green paint. I'm gonna be using the red paint. And here's what we're gonna do. One of us is gonna take off our shoes and take off our socks, get a little messy, and paint a scene on a white canvas. The other person, in the meantime, is gonna be guessing what that scene is we're painting. But here's a hint. The scene is a way that you can show humility in everyday life. Are you ready to play? You know it. <laughs> Try not to fall down. Um, it's an inchworm. It's a Another person, and there's clearly some kind of, some kind of. Oh, it's a doorway. That's a door handle in the door. Okay. All right. It's a person at the door. Um. And then another person with, with a, a big candy cane. Oh, is that a grandma? Is that why she has a cane? All right. There's a person. There's a grandma. There's a door. There is. There's. Oh, opening the door for someone. Oh, we got it. I am, I am ready. Oh gosh. Letting someone else play first in soccer. Is that a goal? Is that a ball? It's a ball. I mean, you're like, you're like so close. Um, letting, that's a ball. And that's a goal post. So, soccer. But like, not let it, letting them shoot the ball in the, in the net. Yeah! Woo! Yes, it's like letting someone else score the goal. There you go. There we go. 
It's such a big canvas. Well, if you look here, you can see the soccer ball, and you can see the goal, and you can see all the cheering fans around it. Now, scoring a goal isn't necessarily showing humility, but maybe letting one of your other teammates score the goal instead of you is a great way that you can put them before yourself. Now, I went a little bit of a different route here. Showing humility, you know, you go to the store generally when you can, and when you're going, you might see someone who's a little older than you, so you got someone here with a cane, and you can just open the door for them, and then. That's a really easy, practical way to put other people's needs before yourself. The Apostle Paul wrote about humility in a letter that he wrote to the church in Philippi. We call it the Book of Philippians. Well, this is the Bible, but the Book of Philippians is inside of it. Philippians. Paul wrote this letter for a bunch of reasons, one of which was that he couldn't go visit the people of Philippi in person. You see, Paul was in prison. Paul loved to remind people of Jesus' example. He wanted to encourage them to live like Jesus did. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. Jesus was equal with God, but Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He appeared as a man. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Those are really wise words. Notice that Paul went back to Jesus' example. He said that we should look at the ways that Jesus showed humility, and then we can choose to be humble ourselves. But what does it really look like to live that way? What does it look like to value others more than yourselves? This week, we're challenging you to come up with five ways that you can show humility while you're at home. If you want, we would love for you to share them with us on our Facebook page. Our bottom line for today, put others first because Jesus put you first. We can think about Jesus and remember how he put us first. And then we can choose to show the same honor, respect, and love to those that we'd want to share those with. We can choose to treat others the way that we want to be treated. Before we go, let's say this month's theme verse all together. Wait, to make it more fun, let's say it upside down. All right, but only if the kids at home do it along with us. We'll give you five seconds to get turned upside down. Philippians 2-3, don't, don't do, do anything, anything only to get ahead. Don't, don't do it because you are proud. proud. Instead, be, be humble. humble. Value others, others more than yourselves. yourselves. Philippians 2-3. Be sure to scroll down and check out the link below for this week's story and some worship songs that you can sing together with your family. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by this morning. We'll see you later.